Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you are new, welcome here for the very first time. I am Carmen. This is Nimue. This little blob is Dino. But this little orange one is River. And today we are gonna be watching Lost Season 1, episode 22, which I believe I'm actually right this week, <laughs> in that we, it is the last episode before the three-part season finale. So last time we had Saeed and Locke and Saeed sort of like figuring Locke out and he told him to take him to the hatch, which I call the bunker because it looks like a bunker to me. You know what? What can I say? Anyway, so we're going to go to the hatch. <coughs> Sorry, <coughs> I still have a cough the hatch slash bunker hopefully in this episode I've kind of guessed this every episode for like at least 10 episodes I think at this point so I could very well be wrong <laughs> we also had a Saeed backstory in the last episode we also had Jack sort of being very upset at Locke which I understand why but also frustrates me just because I really love Locke and we also had Shannon being you know a, a tiny bit murderous but again I understand because she is grieving her brother so I'm not gonna ramble too much I know I say after I've already rambled let's get right into this episode and find out what happens Joan Hart. Ohio Oh, dang. <laughs> I'll have to go back and see if I can read the letter. I thought it was gonna be like an alias, but maybe that's her real name. When they get picked up, the helicopters will come, making us ridiculously and eternally famous. What's the matter? Don't you want to be famous? She definitely doesn't. Sure, you can absolutely wait a few oh. weeks before you launch. Another guy. I was just assuming you didn't want to die. Why are we listening to Ars? Because I'm a doctor and you're a hillbilly. You're a damn high school science teacher. Hey, go here. Who's he? Ars. So obviously you believe him? Why the sudden interest? Because I'm going with you. Because she doesn't want to be famous? She knows how I'm so. Hey, Tom. <gasps> oh, Tom. Katie. Katie, so that oh. is her name. What are you doing here? Diane's dying of cancer. I need your help. I have no idea what's happening, but we'll see. 당신들 갈 거예요? 여보, 제발 나랑 얘기 좀 해요. So it's supposed to be Jen, Sawyer, Walt, Michael. We're almost there. You want to tell me where we're uh, going, Saeed? The bunker? It's better that you see it for yourself. Finally! Other people know. What is this thing? Exactly. That is the question. Sulu over here is packing a suitcase full of salted fish. Yeah? We can't catch fish. Call him Sulu. He's a Trekkie. Maybe you are the wrong guy to go on the raft. And who the hell's gonna take my place? What the hell you think you're doing? Sorry? Don't give me the all golly eyes. I know what you're doing. Yeah? Yeah. Just like I know why you wanted that Halliburton case so bad. The one that belonged to the U.S. Marshal who's flying with us? You were his prisoner. Let go of me. Well, don't worry, Puddin. Your secret's safe with me. But just so you know, no way in hell you're getting my spot on that raft. I don't think anybody should get on the raft. I don't think it's gonna work. Dad. Oh. 
I just thought he was sweating because it's That's hot why. outside. You... What's wrong with him? Get Jack. What's happening? What's wrong? What's wrong with him? Why is he? Why is he acting sick? Was there something bad in the water? Did someone sabotage it? You've been out here for three weeks digging this thing up and you never told me about it. All due respect, Jack, but since when do I report to you? I was gonna say, you're not like All due the respect, president John, or anything. But you lied. How long did you have that case full of guns before you decided the rest of us needed to know? You used your best discretion, I used mine. That's a fair point. So how do we open it? I'm glad what? that he was like, yeah. You want to open it? Of course. Yes, we have to open it. What do you mean? What the fuck's inside? We should bury it. What? I brought you here to talk him out of this insanity. Anything could be inside. Best case scenario, there's supplies. Yeah. Worst case, we use it as a shelter. Actually, Jack, I can think of much worse cases than that. Like what? You notice anything about this hatch? No. There's no handle. Could the reason okay, for that sure. be more obvious? Because somebody doesn't want somebody else Maybe getting inside. It was never meant to be open from the outside. That doesn't necessarily mean like there's something bad in there. Could just be somebody was protecting themselves from whoever else they thought was on the island or was coming. <gasps> what if he has appendicitis? Today? That would be pretty bad. I think it's still there. What? You know what? Well, I don't know what, so if you could actually verbalize it. No, I don't think it was the water. I think it was something in the water. Yeah, that's what I said. <clears throat> Someone sabotaged the water. Why would Kate poison Michael? Well, you know, the whole fugitive thing. Mark doesn't know. Well, how am I supposed to keep straight who knows what around here? I mean, Steve didn't even know about the polar bear. What did she do? <laughs> Steve didn't know about the polar bear. I don't know. Why don't you ask her? And you didn't think the others should know about this, Jack? Discretion, John. Check this out. This is track two. It's called. Sorry. It's called Monster Eats the Pilot. Oh, I was waiting for lyrics. Okay, we don't have any. What's my box? Plane. What's his plane? <sighs> oh, I can't believe I let you talk me into putting this in there. That was your idea. So it's like a, what do they call it? Like a time capsule? How do you know we'll be together? Because we'll be married and you'll be a mom and we'll have nine kids. <laughs> I don't think so. That's a lot. You always want to run away, Katie. Yeah, and you know why? That life at home. Maybe she killed her abusive father or mother. He is married with a baby. What's the matter? Don't open it. What'd you say? Don't open it, Mr. Locke. Don't open that thing. What? What do you know? What, what thing? What do you know? Just don't open what it. What do you know? Deal. Yeah, well, the deal ended the minute you decided to poison me. I did what now? People are so stupid. I can understand why he's frustrated. Mm -hmm. Look! Now, what's Kate doing with poor Joanna's ID? Could it be she'd do just about anything to get on that raft? So she could get herself rescued, run off with a new identity before half the reporters in the world descend on this damn island? She might even poison the captain himself. Shut up! I mean, I understand why Sawyer is so mad, though, because, like, everybody just always assumes that he did shit. My mom... Mm. I wish I 
wish I had more. I'm so sorry that I have put you through. Backstory. I feel like this would hit harder. Because I, I don't understand their dynamic. You know? Help. Why is she saying help? Help. Does she have dementia or something? We got a situation down. What happened? I need your car keys. Hey, Katie. I don't think I would just give her my car keys personally. I just I'm so confused because this seems like such a um drastic reaction to like maybe I just don't know that there's like a big warrant out for her or something like it just seems like a really oh did he get shot oh God. No, 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 maybe that's who they say she killed but then why is she on the run in the first place I don't understand just because of the bank thing I'm going to jail for but I didn't poison you I just I wish they would explain her backstory better because I feel very disconnected from this episode because like I don't understand like what's happening or like the flashback bits of this episode I should say you don't want him to go do you no what if she poisoned Is that why you Michael tried to make him sick? trying to make Jen sick Michael and Jen working together all the time Pretty easy for them to get their water bottles mixed up and she would have the know-how to do that in a way that i didn't want him to die out there. wouldn't be dangerous would just temporarily make him sick but without being like life-threatening i just didn't know what to do i wasn't trying to hurt him i believe her are you gonna tell the others I don't see any reason why they need to know. Yeah, good. Son. See, it's these moments that make me like Jack. He's going. If I were you, I'd... I'd say goodbye. He has his moments, you know. He frustrates me. But then he does stuff like that when I'm like... I do kind of like you. Why is it so important for you to be on that raft? Same as you. Because there ain't anything on this island worth staying for. What do you know about the fucking bunker hatch? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Right. Doing better? I need you to tell me some shit, kid. We'll be sailing home before you can even... I'm the one that burnt the raft. <gasps> Oh, I can't believe he's gonna, he's coming clean. I didn't want to leave. And I thought I could stop. I'm really sorry, Dad. Hey, it's okay, man. We don't have to go. Yes, we do. What the fuck do you know, kid? What the fuck do you know? Freaking me the fuck out. I didn't tell him it was your idea. So she was a part of it. Thanks. Why should you be punished? You were only trying to help me. She was trying to help herself. I believe that once I found the man I loved, I would be happy forever. Life doesn't work like that. Yeah, happiness doesn't last forever. Not without interruption. Me too. You know? It'd be nice if it did. It'd be fucking great if it did. Alright, you guys. I think that it's very obvious where we have to start out with this post-episode discussion. And that is with fucking Walt. <sighs> this kid is like... I don't know... I don't I don't know he freaks me the fuck out okay maybe 
his stepdad, who I was like hating on at the time, was onto something, okay? Because he, so he was looking at the bird book, right? And then the bird flew into the window, which like, I don't know that he like intentionally, like, I don't know that he had anything to do with it, but like, I don't know that he intentionally killed the bird. Let's say he had something to do with it. I don't know that he was like, his intention was to kill the bird. And then he's reading the comic, the fucking polar bear. Now there's a fucking polar bear, multiple polar bears on the island. And then in this episode, Locke touches him and he knows something he can't possibly know. Like, how would he know about the hatch slash bunker in the first place? He doesn't know it fucking exists. But then also he's like, he says, don't open it. What? I need to go back and hear his exact words, but like, and then he's talking to Michael at the end of the episode. And Michael's like, you know what? He, he's honest with him about the raft and everything. And he's like, you know, we can stay. And he's like, no, we can't. Child, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? What do you know? I need you to be less cryptic, okay? I need you to be less fucking cryptic, okay? Like, what do you know? It's so exciting, it's so exciting, honestly. Like, I need to go back and listen for a second. So he says, don't open it, don't open it, Mr. Locke. Don't open that thing, just don't open it. Okay, so like, you know how in the beginning of this episode, I was like, Saeed, shush, we need to open this and find out what's inside. I take it back, I take it back, okay? Like, reverse, rewind, do not open it. I trust Walt, because Walt scares me a little bit, okay? So like, I just wouldn't open it. You know, I, I would listen to the child because I don't know what the fuck is going on with him, but there's something going on, okay? He knows things, he know, I don't, it's like he touches things and then he knows things or things touch him, right? Because, okay, so he was touching the book with the bird. He was touching the comic with the polar bear. He was touching Mr. Locke when the hatch and he was touching his dad when he said we have to leave maybe he's like a psychic but it's like he almost like he manifested the bird or he controlled the bird but then how would there would have to already be a polar bear on the island unless he like made it materialize I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's going on with Walt, you guys. But like I said, I just like, I, I, I'm i just gonna, <sighs> I just know that there's something going on with him. And like, I'm gonna listen. I don't know what it means, but it scares me. Okay. That's all I gotta say. Also, so I, I don't know how I feel about the flashbacks in this episode because I, I, I understand that they want to make Claire, Claire, Kate, I understand that they want to make Kate like a gray area character, right? Like we have our Jack who is a very like moral like character, right? Like we, we think he's always going to do the right thing. And then we have somebody like Sawyer who we know sometimes does the wrong thing, but like we can understand his motivations. And usually like if push comes to shove, he does the right thing, right? Um, I think like, you know, Saeed's a good guy. Locke I feel is a good guy. Like I feel like we know all these characters and can sort of like gauge their morality in a way or like how we view whether or not they're good people, which of course is like <sighs> sort of a complicated statement, right? Because good people can still do bad things and bad people can do good things. And it's, it's characters are, and people are multidimensional and they contain multitudes and 
everyone's capable of doing something horrible and everyone's capable of doing something great, right? So allowing for that, right? We know usually like where the character is coming from because we've seen their backstory. We understand who they are as characters. However, it seems to me like with Kate, they want us to like her, right? I feel they want us to like kind of root for her, but I feel like they don't want us to know her fully. Like they want her to exist in this gray area where we don't know what she is capable of, right? Because they are giving us like hints to her backstory but they've never shown us and and it, maybe this is just me misunderstanding like like where stuff is in the timeline because like I feel like they've never explained exactly what she did for the marshal right like I could assume it's about the bank robbery I could assume it's about <coughs> Tom getting killed although she wouldn't be responsible she didn't kill him the officer that was shooting did but also like it's I don't understand how they got to the hospital so quickly like the cops and like why they just started shooting i also don't understand why she tore out of there in the car like she did because i feel like she could have left in a more discreet way that would have allowed her to get away without casualties and without a huge shootout so i don't know it just the hospital scene felt weird to me like I I felt a bit detached from it because I I don't know her relationship with her mother I have zero information with which I can extract what this moment is supposed to mean for Kate the character like they've told us absolutely nothing save her saying in this episode and the tape as a child that Tom knows why she wants to run away. So there's like an implication that her house wasn't happy, that it may have, might have been abusive. But as far as I can remember, and maybe I'm wrong, but that's the only thing we know about her, her family, save that her dad taught her how to track and was like a hunter, right? So like I have no context for what her relationship with her mother is like. So the scene where she's talking to her mother like it just it didn't hit me because I don't know how I'm supposed to feel like was her mother a good person did they have a close relationship um was her mother a bad person did they have a bad relationship is this like like how how am I supposed to feel in this moment I don't know I don't know because they didn't tell me you know so I don't know I felt like a bit detached from at least that aspect of it Tom it seems like he I don't know I usually like Kate honestly like I usually really like enjoy her character and I enjoy the moral gray area that she sort of exists in so far but I feel like this character this character this episode for some reason like her flashbacks didn't super resonate with me because I was trying to figure out like what was going on she's already wanted in this episode for something I'm assuming that's why she had dyed her hair blonde or am I supposed to think that her hair is naturally blonde because she definitely looks like a brunette um but obviously she was already on the run she was changing the tags um is that from the bank robbery 
was the bank robbery already in Australia? I don't remember. She said in that episode, it belonged to the man I loved and killed. So she's talking about Tom, I assume. And she's blaming herself for his death. Uh, the marshal, if I remember correctly, also was saying that she had killed a man. But like, so is that supposed to be Tom? Because she didn't kill him. Li literally the, the cop killed him. Like they couldn't charge her with that, I wouldn't think. Unless she killed somebody else that I don't know about. Unless I'm just forgetting more than I think that I'm forgetting, which is very, very possible. I don't think she killed the guy from the bank job. So he has to be talking about Tom, right? But sure, surely they couldn't like charge her with Tom's murder when the cop is the one who shot him and killed him. Like, I'm pr unless he died in the car accident and I'm just thinking he got shot. So who sends her the plane? She gets the plane from the bank when they do the bank job. So who put the plane in the, the bank for her? Right, because she got the plane from the envelope in the bank, right? And that's why she was trying to get into the box because she'd gotten the plane and the bank job, which means that the bank job took place after this. Wait, then why was she wanted? If I'm remembering correctly, I'm very confused. I'm very confused about Kate's backstory. And again, maybe it's my own fault. Maybe I'm just remembering something wrong. I'll go look after this. I guess I could look now. Yeah, the envelope had the plane in it. Okay, so the envelope had the plane in it, which means that that happened, the bank thing happened after the flashbacks in this episode. So then why the fuck was she on the run in this episode? See what I mean? I'm just confused. I'm just confused about, uh, about Kate's backstory. Like, I don't understand. Did she kill somebody else? Like, is, is, is there something I'm missing? I don't know, you guys. Um, if it's something that I am just being really dense about, just let me know. And if it's meant to, like I said, just make Kate this mysterious gray sort of character that we're not sure what she's capable of, then and I'll explain it later, just, yeah, just don't tell me. Um, but, I don't know, I'm just confused. I wanted to go back and look at, to see if I could see anything in the letter. I wonder who wrote that letter? Because she picked it up for Joan Hart and it says Catherine in the letter, so, it doesn't seem like Tom wrote it because he wasn't expecting her to be in the back of his car. So, all right, I know I've spent a really long time on <laughs> Kate's flashbacks in this episode. I just, it's very confusing, like I said, because I feel like they're, they're very unclear about her backstory. Like, everyone's backstory is like slowly unfolding before us but hers is like it feels very complicated and confusing and they I, I feel again maybe I'm wrong and if so you can let me know I'm very confused as to like her timeline right this is before the bank job the bank job is before Australia. Australia is before the island, right? For her three flashbacks. So this is the earliest, but she's already on the run. Which is why I'm so confused, because like what, I don't understand. It is frustrating. 
it is frustrating and maybe it's just because I find Sawyer to be a really compelling character but it is frustrating that like even though I was like I guess it could have been Sawyer or Kate because I mean they're the two people trying to get on the raft it makes sense I didn't expect it to be Sun although really it was kind of Kate ultimately right because she told Sun to do it for her own purposes but it is frustrating that everyone's immediate thought is like oh it was Sawyer and I'm gonna punish him for it right it's just like whenever people perceive Sawyer to do something that's like I mean sure it's bad but it's not like horrific they just it seems to me like they make like excessive leaps to be like it was Sawyer and I know for a million percent sure it was Sawyer even though you have no proof and you were wrong again it's just like I don't know it's just frustrating it's frustrating that Sawyer keeps getting blamed for stuff when he's not doing it <laughs> you know yeah I don't know I also like not that I think that it's okay to go around poisoning people let me preface that but it's like <clears throat> when Kate is talking to Jack and she's like you think I could do that which is kind of ironic because she did and he's like I don't know what you're capable of also it's like he's not accusing you of cold-blooded murder because you just made someone sick right you didn't kill them you didn't whatever you just made them get a little bit sick so I don't think it's like I don't know I just don't think that it's some huge moral failing that he's accusing her of that she should get offended by but also he doesn't know what you're capable of and ultimately you did do it so and I think that Jack not knowing what she's capable of is also supposed to be an indicator to the audience that we don't know what she's capable of right because it seems like Jack is the audience's like I think that Jack is supposed to be, I should say, like the audience's sort of moral compass. Yeah. So like if Jack thinks it's a good thing, we probably most of the time would agree that it's a good thing. If he thinks it's a bad thing, again, he has his own biases, but most of the time we would agree that it's a bad thing, right? So Jack as our sort of moral compass in the show not knowing what Kate is capable of I feel is supposed to be indicative to the audience that we also don't know what Kate is capable of but also like I thought she was capable of this and she was so but yeah I don't know I I get like I said I get that the reason they're dragging out Kate's story is because they want us to feel that way like we're in the dark so we don't know what she's capable of because we don't know what she's done but I just wish they would fucking tell us, okay? I just wish they would tell us because I, I'm confused, you know? I'm confused. I think that's all that I really have to say. Also, I just hope that Sawyer doesn't get on the raft or somehow comes back because I don't want to lose Sawyer in season one. I like his character. I would like to continue liking his character. I would like to see his character continue to grow and evolve and change and become better. Oh wait, there is one other thing. We met a new character who has a name. What their name is? Not quite sure. He's a high school science teacher and he was talking to them about, he was talking to them about monsoon season. And I, his name is Eris or Ant or let me, try to go back oh I could put subtitles on actually let me go back with subtitles and see what this man's name is okay so this guy's name is arts um we did meet a new character uh is he another one-off character like the one guy in the golfing episode that we have not seen again since who had the rash who can say not me but I am writing his name down he is another character that we are adding to the list Will I have to care about him? Remains to be seen. 
will he get killed in the next episode after they named him remains to be seen but the only way to find that out is to watch the next episode so if you would like to do that then you can right now over on patreon if you're watching this on youtube as well as my entire full-length reaction to this episode and all the episodes thus far of lost that is over on patreon as well which is linked in the description down below so if you are curious you can go ahead and check that out and yeah i think next week is the three-part finale of lost season one so next week we will wrap up season one in a nice little bow probably leave on a huge ass cliffhanger because this was the era of huge ass cliffhangers and so far lost loves a huge ass cliffhanger so i can only assume that they will leave the hangiest of cliffs next week in the finale so i can't wait i hope to see you there until then bye guys <laughs>